What's up, everybody? Welcome to Podcast Now. I'm Alex, and in this video, I want to talk about Warner Bros. censoring Fantastic Beasts, The Secrets of Dumbledore in China. Now, I need to pick my words correctly because it is YouTube and we are talking about China and I don't really you know that on its own see YouTube that on its own is not a big deal but no uh, because it's releasing in China Warner Bros has eliminated some sentences some words from the Fantastic Beasts uh, the, the, the actors and actresses mouths and, uh, and 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 what they're saying in the movie so specific lines have been removed to appeal to Chinese audiences and those lines let's see how we should say this right again to be good to YouTube those lines are are, are, are lines that suggest or actually confirms right in this movie which by the way is fine and at least finally we get the confirmation on the screen uh, the, the the gay relationship between Dumbledore and Grindelwald right so that is shown that is said throughout the movie or at least in the beginning of the movie that's not really a spoiler at least uh, at this point I think everybody kind of knows it right and, and uh, like let me make it very clear I'm cool with that. I just said that. It, all good there. I don't want this to come across the wrong way. What's funny? Let's talk about the hilarity of the situation, right? Now, is it funny that something like that gets censored? No. You know, I have a sick and twisted mind. Is it necessarily funny? No. But the funny thing is, it again, I mean, I just love it because it shows the hypocrisy of Hollywood just time and time again. I mean, we don't need more examples of this stuff happening. We have enough of them throughout history, right? One of the go-tos is Star Wars, episode seven, eight, nine. With Finn, you look at the, you know, everywhere else's uh, theatrical posters, and then you look at China's theatrical poster, and it's a little different because one character in particular, based off of race, and I will say that because that is the reason, uh, he was shrunk a little bit. And by shrunk, I mean almost entirely removed. So... What we have here is a company in Disney in that case, in Warner Bros. in this case, that preaches and preaches and preaches and, and, and talks about all this stuff and, and inclusion and, and we have to represent these people and we, we can't back down and we have to go all this stuff. Now, meanwhile, they let Ezra Miller just choke slam people. Amber Heard, they let her do a lot of stuff. Johnny Dabo, he's gone because he's the worst of the three by a mile, right? So while we have that going on, fantastic situation, you could even argue the J.K. Rowling stuff. I'm not going to get too far into that, but I mean, just employing her in the first place, that would probably make people mad, right? So you have all of that different stuff going on. And now, again, you show how hypocritical you are because, yes, you show them and not even well, what what does show really mean? Show them being gay. You you heavily heavily imply where when you're seeing the words you know appear on the screen, you know okay these two had a relationship together. Cool. And you remove it for China. So here's the thing: if you truly believe what you say, right? If you truly have standards and you have morals and you really believe, okay, these kind of people need to be represented. This kind of story is so rep. Now, by the way. A gay relationship in Hollywood is not revolutionary. This is not the first time it's happened. I hate the people that say, oh my, the first time ever in a blockbuster movie. They say that every time. Every single time they say that. And it never is true because <laughs> there's always the one right before it. But they like to say it because, of course, it makes them sound good, right? But it's, you know, it's so revolutionary. You finally have, you know, I guess it is two gay wizards. It's, it, it's mind-blowing, to be honest with you. And they believe in that so much. And again, like, I'm joking about it, but, like, it's fine that... That it's that it happened like it, it cool but the funny thing is that it only goes so far they only mean it so much because they like money they want money so when it comes to china now there have been some examples of movies saying no no you know what we're sticking with what we believe we're not going to censor this scene we're not going to do this we're going to do that it, it either will you'll either let it appear in your movies, right, whether it's, it's Saudi Arabia or China or, you know, wherever, like, they're either going to appear as they are or we won't show it there. Now, I will say, like, that, that is sticking to it. There's, there's really no arguing that, right? If, if you did, now you could argue, well, are they still pandering? Do they actually still believe in the things that they're putting in the movie stuff? Or are they just doing it to look good on Twitter, look good to certain people? Right? You could argue that, but that's a case-by-case example sometimes it is sometimes it isn't but for something like this it's very easy to see what it, right it's like well we'll do it but it's something where well you know we love chinese money i mean it literally I, we fantastic beast could make or break off of this so we can't pull it from china it needs to release in china and so well we'll just take out some lines they're inconsequential they're no big deal they're just the things that signify and show that these two are gay no big deal whatsoever they could easily go 
You see, you see what I mean? And yet these are the same people that, that talk a big game. They have big mouths you know, on social media. They have big mouths in their movies in the, in, in the West, right? It, it's a joke. It's a joke to these people. They don't. And again, this is what I say with Ezra and Amber Heard and Johnny Depp. These executives, these Hollywood elite, these people who make the movies, these people that are even in the movies, to be honest with you, they don't care. They only say what they need to say to sound good. Now, is there overall kind of like a movement towards certain things that's happened throughout history, you know, depending on the time period? Yes, like there are things going on. I'm sure the movement to being more inclusive and and recognizing different people and accepting different people, that is a that's a movement and it's continued to go on and everybody's a part of it, including, you know what I mean? So like that stuff is, you know, that stuff is happening. But when they go kind of all in, Again, it's like, are they going all in or are they doing it just to look cool, right? So, or like, you know, or I guess not even look cool. Well, probably look cool. Look cool to some people, uh, impress some people, get your Twitter likes for some people. But a lot, of, I was going to say all the time. It's not all the time. It does backfire from time to time, right? In this case, I don't see how, same thing with Disney. I don't see how those examples don't blow up in your face. You talk about, let's go to Disney, right? Forces female. You t- now, like that's a different, Ray wasn't censored. Finn was, right? But ag- again, the idea is, oh, we need more female representation. Uh, you know, Finn, obviously, you know, an African-American. So like we need this stuff. Oh, but when it comes to China, well, I, we're going to make hundreds of millions in China. So Finn, he really doesn't need to be on the poster, right? Like he's in the movie, like just get rid of him in the poster. It's like you don't actually believe it then. I, I'm I'm calling you out. You don't believe that. Because if you did believe it, you'd say, you know what? No, China's either going to accept it or they're not. And if they don't accept it, we won't air the movie there. We won't make a Chinese poster. If they do accept it, then fi- they get exactly what we made the movie. We're not going to change the movie. We're not going to censor the movie for them because we made it ideally because we believe in it and these are the stuff that we believe like you know what i mean but no they don't that's you know i mean throw what i just said out the window because that's not how they think they don't actually believe any of that stuff same thing with do they believe that johnny depp with that kind of stuff do they you know i i don't really know what what, what went through their mind with that it was probably because a male hit a female right that let's let's be real that was the thing and they didn't want that blowing up on them turns out it still did right because johnny depp is kind of overwhelmingly seen everywhere even online in person everywhere as like in the right and and, and the, the least worst of the two or or the better one or the good one and amber's the bad one right like no matter how you view it it backfired meanwhile Amber Heard's done some pretty bad stuff. She's cool. She's a woman. Uh, you know, Ezra Miller, you, you know, uh, obviously done some pretty horrible stuff. Fine. You know, no big deal. Maybe we'll do the flash. Maybe we won't. I mean, we'll we'll try to kick it down the road. Maybe people will forget and then we can revisit it at a later time. Right. These people don't mean anything. So, you know, I, I really have no shame in, in the way that I talk and the way that I view these companies. They are not gods. They are not better than us in any way. Uh, yes, we're all equal, but I, you know, these kind of people are actually the worst of the worst because, again, they say one thing and they do the exact opposite, or they say one thing for, again, to be cool, to be with the times, to be progressive, and yet, or sometimes they'll be so progressive that they'll actually do what they are compl- like, uh, like the R word in terms of isms, right? They'll be so against it that their cure for it is actually the same thing just with different races in general, right? They'll just swap the races and say, well, we're not being that because they're different now. Well, no, you're still doing the exact same thing. It's just you swapped the races that you're using. And and they'll be like, well, I don't know what you're talking about. So that's what these companies do. That's what these people do. That's what these activists do. I mean, it's just, it's what it is. You know what I mean? So I don't, I get mad, I guess, but I also laugh. Like when I saw the article saying like they had taken those you know a couple lines out a fantastic piece i laughed and i wrote on twitter i said like this shouldn't be a surprise to any people are being like oh my god this is an attack towards this or this or this is the times that we're at right now this is the time you know the time period in life that we're at these people and i'm like well no please don't get it confused we're not at a time period where people are still those were i mean there are still some Okay, but I think overwhelmingly not. We're at a time where these companies that are looked up to as gods, and they are gods, and they're too big to fail, and all this stuff, they are doing things on purpose, right, to get those kind of people on their side, but they don't actually, well, I guess maybe they are still actually, you know, maybe they are still 30, 40 years behind the times, right? They are bad. They don't actually believe in the stuff that they say out loud. They're just doing it to get money. And when that money doesn't work, 
they need to adjust so when china is like well no we don't put up with that kind of stuff not saying that's right or well actually it is wrong right we can actually make a definitive thing so not saying that's right you know china being like no we're not doing that but the thing is well, number one, they can do whatever they want. So if they decide that, again, going back to the, the first thing, if they decide, no, we're not putting up with this stuff, this stuff in the West, this, this this movement, well, shame on you. But at the same time, who cares? I mean, you know, you do you, we'll do us. Don't put your movie there then. If you really believe in this stuff, then don't go putting it up in Chinese theaters. Don't do it. But no, instead, we'll still put it up. And we'll just change a couple inconsequential things because they really don't mean anything. And that's the truth. That's the truth. They don't mean anything. Those lines, them being that, they don't mean anything to these people that made Fantastic Beasts 3. They did it for the points. They did it so you could say, oh my god, the one thing or one of the things that was the biggest thing about Fantastic Beasts 3 is they confirmed it, guys. They confirmed who Dumbledore really is. That's why they did it. You don't think that's going to help them in the box office? Like people, you know, probably people going just to see that. Now, I don't think overwhelmingly that'll actually do anything, but they think it will, right? And that's why they did it. That's why they did it for money. But when the money turns on them, they have no problem, you know, changing their course. And uh, that's the way it is. So let me know what you guys think in the comments. Make sure you guys are subscribed to the channel. Hit the bell icon so you guys know when all these videos go up. If you want to follow me anywhere else, all my social media is in the description below. Thank you for watching. And I hope to see you all on the next video.